Greetings, and welcome to the first video on IP addressing and subnetting IPv4 addresses. Today we will demonstrate two different methods for converting dotted decimal notation to binary notation and vice versa. The first method is the divide by two method. The second and more popular is the weighted method. Both methods produce the same results, so if you grasp one better than the other, focus on that method. Let's get started. IPv4 is a 32-bit address of your network and host address. It is made up of four octets separated by periods. Each octet has a range from 0 to 255 when written down in dotted decimal notation, or DDN, as in 192, 168, 1, and 17. However, computers cannot read dotted decimal notation. They can only read two states, called binary. This section will show you how to take dotted decimal notation, or DDN, to binary format. The first octet in the above address is 192. To translate 192 to binary can be accomplished two ways. The first is the divide by two method, and the second is the weighted method. Let's start with the divide by two method. If we write out the first octet of the IP address 192, and then we divide that by two, our answer is 96, and we have no remainder. It is very important to write down whether or not you have a remainder, as we will use this data later. Take 96, divide that by 2, you get 48, and you have no remainder. Take 48, divide that by 2, you get 24, and you have no remainder. Take 24, divide that by 2, you get 12, and you have no remainder. Take 12, divide that by 2, you get 6, and you have no remainder. Take 6, divide that by 2, you get 3, and you have no remainder. Take 3, divide that by 2, you get 1, and you have a remainder of 0.5. Take 1, divide that by 2, you get 0, and you have a remainder of 0.5. Now, working from the right side, or least significant bit, the LSB, to the left side, or most significant bit, the MSB, write down a 0 if no remainder, and a 1 if there is a remainder. Now take the 168 in the second octet and divide by 2 in the same manner as the first octet. Take 168, divide by 2, you get 84, and you have no remainder. You take 84, divide that by 2, you get 42, and you have no remainder. Take 42, divide that by 2, you get 21, and you have no remainder. Take 21, divide that by 2, you get 10, and you have a remainder of 0.5. Take 10, divide that by 2, you get 5, and you have no remainder. Take 5, divide that by 2, and you have a remainder of 0.5. Take 2, divide that by 2, you get 1, and you have no remainder. Take 1, divide that by 2, you get 0, and you have a remainder of 0.5. Working from the LSB to the MSB, taking the remainder 0 as 0 and remainder value as a 1, you get... 1010100000 zero, one, zero, one, zero, zero, zero. Using the 1 is easy. Just take 1, divide that by 2, you get 0, and you have a remainder of 0.5. There's no reason to go any further, as preceding zeros are irrelevant. You get 00000001, zero, 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 one, or just 1. The last octet in the address is 17. Take 17, divide that by 2, you get 8, and the remainder is 0.5. Take 8, divide that by 2, you get 4, and there's no remainder. Take 4, divide that by 2, you get 2, and there's no remainder. Take 2, divide that by 2, you get 1, and there's no remainder. Take 1, divide that by 2, you get 0, and there's a remainder of 0.5. Working from the LSB to the MSB, you get 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Altogether, working from the most significant byte to the least significant byte, we get 11 followed by six zeros, and then 10101000, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, 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 one, one, zero, 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 one. The periods are used as placeholders for humans, as the computer does not see them. Take the time to practice with these IP addresses. The second method is the weighted method. The weighted method uses the power of two to create the following table. Please feel free to create this table on your own, so you may use it for practice questions. This table has eight places to represent the total number of possible available bits in an octet. 
The first row in the table is populated with a power of 2. As we move from right to left, the powers of 2 increase. The second row is the base 10 representation of the number above it. 2 to the power of 0 is 1. 2 to the power of 1 is 2. 2 to the power of 2 is 4. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. 2 to the power of 4 is 16. 2 to the power of 5 is 32. 2 to the power of 6 is 64. And 2 to the power of 7 is 128. We can now use the bottom row for our calculations. Now let's take the same IP address 192.168.1 and 17 and use the weighted method. To determine what bits are turned on, subtract the largest number possible from the octet you are translating. 192 can have 128 subtracted. So we add a 1 in the 128 block and subtract 192 from 128. You get 64. Now we'll use the remaining 64. 64 can have 64 subtracted. So we add a 1 in the 64 block and subtract 64 from 64. You get 0. Now we'll use the 0. 0 cannot have 32 subtracted. So we add a 0 in the 32 block. Again, we use the 0. 0 cannot have 16 subtracted. So we add a 0 in the 16 block. Using the 0, 0 cannot have 8 subtracted. So we add a 0 in the 8 block. 0 cannot have 4 subtracted. So we add a 0 in the 4 block. 0 cannot have 2 subtracted, so we'll add a 0 in the 2 block. 0 cannot have 1 subtracted, so we'll add a 0 in the 1 block. The second octet is 168. Again, we subtract the largest value first, so in this case, it is 168 minus 128, we get 40. So we'll place a 1 in the 128 block. You cannot subtract 64 from 40, so you place a 0 in that block. You can subtract 32 from 40, you get 8. So we'll place a 1 in the 32 block. 16 is too large to subtract from 8, so we'll put a 0 in that block. We take 8 from 8 for the next block, so we'll put a 1 in the 8 block. Since all the numbers are used, we can fill the rest of the blocks with 0. We move to the third block with the DDN of 1. You cannot remove 128, so we place a 0 in the 128 block. The same with 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, and 2 blocks. However, the 1 can be removed from 1, so we place a 1 in the first block. The last octet is 17. Again, the blocks 128, 64, and 32 are too large, but we can take 16 from 17, so we place a 1 in the 16 block, and a 1 in the 1 block to finish up the number. In summary, you can use either method to determine the binary value of a decimal number, or to determine the decimal value from a binary number. An IPv4 address is a 32-bit binary number written in dotted decimal notation separated by periods, and each octet has a range of 0 to 255.